to subdivide a bulky object again and again and again into nano-sized bits, you're actually creating more and more and more surface area for exactly the same amount of stuff. And it's only the surface area that's exposed to and reacts with other things. So vastly greater surface area can radically change the mechanical, thermal and catalytic properties of materials. For example, bulk aluminium is so cheap, bendable and rust proof that we store food and drinks in it. But increase its surface area by making it into a fine nano powder and it explodes impressively enough to lift a rocket. Possibly more interesting than explosions is that many nanoscale materials link together in surprising, useful and stable ways. We're used to carbon as super hard diamond or soft graphite. At the nano scale, hollow nano cylinders of carbon can form the highest tensile strength material known, carbon nanotubes. These tubes are made by rolling up flat, one atom thick sheets of carbon called graphene. Bulk carbon is not a conductor, but on graphene, the electrons scoot about like billiard balls. If you then stack these sheets, you can tune the electrical conductivity. This means that we could see carbon replacing silicon in computer chips. These nano Christmas lights are quantum dots and nano shells. The electrons sloshing around together on their surfaces are confined. And it's this quantum confinement that determines the way they respond to light or electrical fields. So their size, and not what they're made of, determines their colour. Control the size and you control the colour. Bigger particles are red, and as they get smaller, we move down through the spectrum to blue. This makes quantum dots ideal colour tunable biosensors. Some change colour with temperature, others based on their size and charge can migrate inside our bodies to specific organs. And beyond biology, they may make optical computer switches, home lighting sources and display components. And this is what makes nanotechnology so intriguing. New, tunable, tweakable properties from materials we thought we were familiar with, which could lead to new applications at the perfect size to interact with biological systems or the tiny electronic interactions we need for smaller, faster computers.